Okay. Woo! That's hot. We got the uh, potatoes boiling again. Let's see. They're getting a little done. I actually think they're almost done, guys. When you take them out of here, and what I'm going to do is leave it uncovered now because it seems like there's some of them are cooking more quicker, so I'll leave it uncovered. I just wanted them to start their boiling so we can have it going, you know. If you can take a fork. Hold on. Okay, I took a fork and then I tried and they were done. So I'm going to take it out. Okay, so I am rinsing them again because I don't want them to keep cooking. Okay, after we took them off of the, um, out of the pan. You know, I finished pancakes and everything. I did a, quite a few things right now in this short time. But if you're not an experienced cook, which my mom raised a really well-rounded cook. I was going to show you, I got the pancakes, I got the bacon. These got a little browner because I'm rushing through between things. But if you're not experienced, don't try all of them. So her breakfast is ready. They're all of her breakfast is ready. Um, and the potatoes are done. Yeah, they almost got a little bit too cooked, guys. You don't want them cooked quite as much as I did this, but I got the lid off of it. I'm going to let them cool off. And I'm not going to put anything. Uh, you can put cold water on them if you want. Rinse them with a little cold water, which I probably will rinse them a little more so it stay cool. And um, we're going to make the rest of the stew. I'm going to leave them in this uh, drain, draining with the cold water. I put them back in the pan. It was kind of hot, so... I don't want them cooking anymore, so let them stay cool, and then when we put everything else together, we're going to just mix it together. We're not going to cook it, cook it, because they're already cooked, and uh, you'll see when we're done, okay? Okay, these are the potatoes. A few of them got at the bottom, they kind of like got a little bit more done, so I just put a lot of cold water and rinsed them really good so that they just stop the cooking process, um, leave them out so they can cool off until we're getting ready to add everything together but you can take off the little mushy parts if you want like out of there if you want but i started bragging about how good i'm cooking and i almost overdid these but they're fine if it seems like it's steaming up when you cover it then that means they're still kind of hot so let's see They're steaming up a little so you can leave it off for a little bit longer if you want and then cover them and now I'm rinsing off the celery now when you make, rinse celery make sure you cut the ends off because there's like when they pull them out of the ground it's from the ground and there's dirt of course yes we're made out of dirt but you don't want to eat dirt <laughs> not with the stuff they put in the ground nowadays Okay, so we're rinsing all of the carrots. Always rinse all your vegetables, even though you're going to boil them. Rinse them really good. Look at them. Check them. Make sure they're, they look healthy. And then you start chopping them. Okay, so we've got the meat in. If you see me cutting up, like, garlic and on the, another video, because I've got my tablet going, that doesn't run out of space like this one, this phone. So some of it's going to have parts and bits, but you'll see the whole process. Okay, um, so we've got our meat in here, and I'll show you a little thing that I usually do. We've got the beef stew, and it tells you to add, um, coat the beef with the flour. I don't do that. I'm just going to put some of this on there. I've already started the oil in the, made it hot, uh, and then you put some water with this. Um, I already have oil in there. Um, you can put it in a Dutch oven or over medium heat. Um.